Okay, so we're supposed to find the indicated, indicated trigonometric function. Uh, I think it's the, I should say, the value of the trigonometric function. Given that the angle theta is in standard position, terminal side passing through the given point. Okay, so that's a whole bunch of math terminology. I'll break it down real quick, so hopefully it's less intimidating next time. We're supposed to find out what this is. Not what theta is, but what tangent of whatever theta is. So we're not going to know what the angle is. We're just supposed to be able to draw a right triangle and say what the opposite over the adjacent is, because that's what tangent is. Okay, supposed to find the trigonometric value, uh, f uh, trigonometric, yeah, function. Given that the angle theta is in standard position, standard position just means here's your initial side, and you're supposed to rotate to a terminal side, which we don't know right now. Okay, and they said the terminal si uh, the, the terminal side's in standard position that passes through this point. So we know how to count out six on the x-axis, five on the y-axis, and put a dot, right? So they're saying it passes through this point. So we don't know what that angle is exactly. We could eventually figure it out, but we don't need to know it for this problem because now we can draw our right triangle with the x-axis. You always make your triangles with the x-axis from your uh, from the terminal side of your angle. Okay, and so this is six on the x-axis. This is five on the y-axis, and theta, the reference angle, is always in here. So what's tangent of theta? It's just the opposite of angle theta, so it's 5, divided by the adjacent of angle theta. So this is the hypotenuse over here, right? So this has to be the adjacent. That's it. Tangent of theta is 5 over 6. So if we're asked to figure out what sine of theta is, they say the terminal side goes through this negative 2, comma 9. So negative 2 in the x-axis, 9 in the y-axis. And there's a line that goes through that point. So our angle... Uh, from our initial side to the terminal side is here, but remember you always make your right triangle with the x-axis. Okay, so this is our theta, the reference angle. Uh, sorry, I mean this is really theta, but our reference angle is down here. Okay, so it's kind of like there's two different thetas going on. But just remember, whenever you do these trig functions, your reference angle is always made with the x-axis. So what's sine of theta here? We need to label the triangle. This is negative two on the x-axis. This is positive 9 on the y-axis. And sine needs to say the opposite divided by the hypotenuse. We don't have the hypotenuse yet. We can find that real quick by using the Pythagorean theorem. So I got 4 plus 81 that makes c squared. So that's the square root of 85 over here. And now we can say what sine is. Sine is the opposite divided by the hypotenuse. So sine is the opposite divided by the hypotenuse. And there we go. We've answered their question.